Hey everyone, welcome to Figure Fantasy. It is evaluation time of S V I I I or S eight. Yeah, I think it's called S. Yeah, she's called S eight. So S eight here. Uh, we're gonna be reviewing her skills. Is she going to be worth pulling for or not? Okay, so she is with Night Nine, uh, obviously, and uh, she is of vanguard in terms of your type of figure so this is just her uh, summary so gives a charm state with a secret technique cannot activate secret techniques on enchanted enemies so effective against uh, enkai defensive battles and some large bosses so let's uh her rating is an eight out of ten so in the tier list in the japanese tier list i've seen that she's a tier a as you can see here and she's good for pvp and pve so let's take a look at her skills guys um first is going to be her attack skill so range is one attack speed is fast which is good she's a vanguard prioritizes the attacking the foremost enemy in the same horizontal row as yourself so level ups one and two is a total damage of plus um 50 percent technique skill or her ultimate skill is has an energy of 70 which makes her do her ultimate faster energy recovery standard six point uh, six per second charms the entire the current target for 3.5 seconds and deals heavy damage to them when the effect ends damages other enemies when the opponent dies when in charm state Enchanted enemies attack speed increases by enchanted enemies attack speed increases by 100%. Enchanted enemies take a small amount of damage with each normal attack. So that is how she is going to affect um, enemies with charm. Her passive skill is normal attacks have a 25% chance to deal massive damage to the current target and enemies behind it and heal yourself according to the damage amount uh, level of effect when charmed is activated normal attack becomes double attack for 3.5 seconds increases on attack speed by 8% when passive activates and last is her specialized skill uh, increases evasion by 15% and recovers HP after dodging increase on attack speed by uh, attack by 5% and decreases um, by uh, and defense by 10%. Evasion uh, rate is up by 20%. So, again, she is kind of a niche uh, vanguard, if I may say. And she, as you can see here, charm does not work on bosses. She, she, she's very niche again uh, because of her charm. And there's a lot of competition in the Vanguard space. We have a lot recently in... Most of them are collab figures. Um, at this point, I'm not really... Here are her pairings on who you should pair her with. So we have Zephyr, we have Maki, and we have Zerola. Okay. So skins that she has, this one is, um, I think this one, this one is her skin. Um, just want to give you outright, guys, a my thoughts on her. Again, she has a lot of competition in the Vanguard category. Um, if you want to get her, I, I suggest you get one copy of her, probably, and or two copies of her. Um, she's not really um, a sought after figure at this point because as you know most of us are saving for collabs for our um fully wishes so at this point there are a lot of options for her for you know for for vanguard position and she will just be basically an add-on to the roster nothing too special um again she's a niche vanguard and more or less that is my take on her if you wish to get a copy of her, be my guest so that you could purchase copies of her in the store, the most store eventually. Because if you don't get a first copy of her, you can't purchase a copy in most store. So that is it, guys. That is my evaluation of S8. So hopefully this helped you in deciding 
if you want to pull her in our first anniversary update. So thank you very much, guys, for staying this far. Take care. Stay safe. This is the Warden. And I'm out of here.